Today, I'm gonna show you how you can save days or even weeks of time unlocking all the new camos and guns, including multiple glitches and methods that I have optimized to help you unlock anything from the new one trick camo to even Borealis in no time. Now, to make sure I help out my viewers as much as possible, I'm gonna show you glitches and methods for every single game mode and a few tips that you aren't aware of that can double or even triple your XP rates. So without delay, let's get right into these methods. And before we start the first one, make sure that you have double XP tokens available or better yet, do this on a double XP weekend for free. That will allow you to save your double XP tokens for after those double XP weekends. You can max your guns in no time in a weekend. Trust me guys, if you grind this out with these methods I'm about to show you, it will make your life so much easier. So let's get right into it. First of all, we are in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. and I'm gonna show you two major glitches that people use in order to get Borealis and other camos that are needed for zombies. Now, this applies to weapons in general, right? Remember, all of your weapon levels are not specific to a game mode. So what you can do in zombies that makes it really, in my opinion, the best way to level up your guns as far as effort versus reward goes is that you can use these Pack-a-Punch level 3 crystals as well as legendary ether tools in order to actually max out the experience. So you can see here, this is one of the methods I'm going to be showing you guys. It's called Exfil Boosting and it allows you to double, triple, or quadruple the amount of zombies in which that you have at an Exfil. Now, full disclosure, this method in tier two is a little bit hectic. So if you consider yourself an amateur player as far as movement or aim goes, I highly suggest that you do this in tier one. It won't have that much effect on it, except for there's going to be less special zombies. I've noticed there's just more in tier two. Maybe that's just my games. But if you already have a tombstone on the map from the tombstone duplication glitch, make sure you go and grab all of your items there before you start this, just in case you go down or you lose something. If you're not already doing that glitch, make sure you check it out in the description down below i'll have my all working glitches video linked there so what you want to do is go ahead and find your way to a normal exfil now the difference is it doesn't have a star on it that's it it's very simple it's the original exfils that we used at the start of the game before you started unlocking all these special new ways to get out of the map and do the tombstone glitch so what you want to do is come over here and essentially start killing zombies like normal you're going to leave a couple of zombies behind in the end but what you are essentially waiting for is for the helicopter to get in and to leave also just as a footnote you can activate double xp tokens by pressing start mid game thus saving you time when you go to reactivate them at the start of a game so you can get ready and then you know apply your double xp but what you want to wait for is essentially the helicopter to start flying away i usually go off a of noise so once the helicopter stops making noise and you don't hear you know the uh the propellers spinning then you should be good to go and what you want to do is as soon as it's gone go about 300 meters away from the exfil and then all you want to do just to simplify the process guys wait until it turns blue that is the easy method but if once you get used to this you'll notice you only really have to stay about 200 to 300 meters away for about 10 seconds now when you come back and activate the exfil again what you're going to notice is that the amount of zombies has doubled, tripled, or quadrupled. Now, it kind of depends on how many you leave. It's kind of like an algorithmic thing. There's really no way to tell what the best possible way to do it is. But as you'll see in a second, it gets absolutely hectic. And this is just super fun. And it's just a really uh, easy and fun way for you to level up your guns. Now, the sheer amount of zombies that show up at these exfils is super important here because each zombie that you kill can actually contribute to the amount of XP bonuses that you get at the end of the game as well as the essence that you extract with so if you do the tombstone duplication glitch you can kind of cycle through weapons very very quickly set up new classes and come right back in and get to the exfils extremely quickly to actually repeat this process so this is my personal favorite method but let's get into the second method for modern warfare 3 zombies now the second method is really really nice but it's more for the laid back player in my opinion you can actually abuse this glitch that is almost afk very close if you could figure out how to automatically shoot your gun and grab ammo that is you could do this 24 7 afk so i'm going to take you right through the steps for this glitch it involves the outlast contract it is very very easy to do and you can do this solo or as a team it does not matter so let's get right into the steps for this glitch you can do this anywhere 
are on the map and i highly suggest again that you do it in tier two now if you have access to pack a punch level through crystals obviously tier two is the best place to do this i wouldn't suggest tier three just because you don't get a lot of benefit or bang for your buck if you will so go ahead and find yourself a tier two or tier one contract for outlast and what you're going to do is essentially run up the percentage what you're going to do is run it up until it is above 90 and then you're going to go ahead and cancel the contract keep in mind if you are on on a team then you're going to have to wait for them to accept the contract as well so just make sure everyone is paying attention many times i have started an outlast contract and essentially let it run to 100 not paying attention and had to go to another location so what's going to happen whenever you cancel above 90 percent is the zombies will not stop spawning now if you're in tier two you will also get special zombies that spawn as well as dogs tier one i'm pretty sure dogs do spawn for all outlast contracts maybe even special zombies i'm not going to verify that because simply put i do everything in tier two honestly so next up let's go over the war zone methods so these are super super easy to do and i highly suggest that you do them in the new loaded resurgence mode it's going to give you the best advantage for xp rates while it's still around so make sure you have a decoy grenade frag grenade and then for your perk package scavenger double time resupply and ghost now you're also going to need obviously a weapon that you want to level up for I would highly suggest that regardless again of what your objective is if your objective is player level still bring in a low level weapon that you have that doesn't have any attachments etc because each level that you get in each camo that you unlock also gives you general xp so what you're going to be doing is going into loaded resurgence as a solo player make sure fill squad is turned off you can do that at the bottom left of your pre-game lobby menu so once you get into the game, what you want to do is throw your decoy grenades immediately into the most populated area. So what I like to do is I like to pull my parachute early and make sure that I know where all the players are dropping and fighting. Typically that's somewhere around prison. And what you're going to do is throw your decoy grenades first and foremost. Now I don't know if your uh, field supply actually just always spawns on you right when you start. It likely does. I can see it on the right there on this lobby as well. Long story short, throw your resupply if you have it. I highly suggest that you have that little arm box with you also what you'll see now is the utility box that you've seen around and it'll be able to uh you know let you resupply your decoy grenades and so your goal here as you can see those decoy assists popping up is to be getting decoy assists while you're getting kills but not only that here's another tip for you guys that is extremely important what you want to do is prioritize surviving when you first land because if you play this game mode by yourself every time that you land every time that you touch the ground whenever you respawn you have a timer usually from 10 to 20 seconds that you have to wait for in order for you to actually respawn next time and not lose the game so what you want to do is avoid players for that amount of time then immediately go gung-ho throw a couple of decoys into the areas that you see other players fight them if you die you die if you can't find players you hold your grenade and you respawn that way that way you can maximize the amount of xp that you're getting without wasting it lastly we have multiplayer now for multiplayer i highly suggest that you have a similar class setup that you did in resurgence you can see i have my bp50 out but i also now have a couple of attachments for it now for multiplayer i would highly suggest that you at least get an optic on your gun just because it makes it a lot easier to actually get the kills here versus in resurgence it really doesn't make that much of a difference but what we're going to be searching for is small map mosh pit we're going to have scavenger gloves we're going to have decoy grenades and a frag grenade as well as a low level bullet weapon just so that we can start leveling it up while we are doing this so what you're going to do is throw your decoy grenades and then hold a grenade if you don't immediately find people but you're going to get into the groove of things like i did here and you're going to notice look in the middle of the screen you can see the decoy assists keep coming up but i'm also fighting enemies and getting kills so it's important that you pay attention to whatever your sight lines are and if you can't immediately find an enemy make sure that you hold a grenade until you die and then you can respawn instantaneously so this isn't like resurgence you don't have to maintain anything you will be destroying your kd if you focus more on the decoy grenades but generally speaking what i like to do is throw both my decoys try to get a quick kill or two to even out my kd and then after that i just at this point for example i should have held my grenade and what that's going to do is you're going to save all of this time that you see me wasting right here in order to actually respawn and do it again you see i realize it there i down myself and then i immediately 
immediately have two decoy grenades again so each kill that someone else makes you're going to get that decoy assist as you can see there you're also going to get assist for shooting your gun and you also need to be aiming just for normal kills so generally speaking if you're on stash house for example this map is extremely easy to continuously get kills on like you can see here and so what i'll typically do is throw both my decoy grenades run through the middle of the map go gung-ho and let someone kill me essentially you can see here i have my pistol out i'm not really caring what i'm shooting the main goal here is to just add up as many points as possible because a lot of them will be going to your gun so if you guys appreciate this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe leave any questions down below and i will catch you in the next video